typically rank this obvious one too. That's a friend answer. This guy Chaz, he's It's a three, three liter or three point two in line six. Two weeks left over, and I'm like, we got left over now. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, just like right now, I guess. Why you don't do it? Take that job, please. He had a little water bottle and he sprayed water all over it. See him over there. How quiet that thing is. Yeah, it sounds like a spaceship. Yeah. Oh, when Megan was here, Ryan. Right. It's not stock exhaust either. No. <laughs> I would say not. If I bought one, I'd paint it white and put blue and red stripes on it. <laughs> That's beautiful. And the license plate would be US Mail 1. <laughs> um, don't know exactly. I don't, I don't think you, I don't think we comment. That's a one. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. No, sir. You hear that vacuum ignition? That is land for 39. How many acres? Two. Three, four, five acres of land for forty million dollars. <laughs> Holy crap! It's an eighteen million dollar home in Point Loma. That's just dicked. I haven't been filming as much here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to redeem myself now. There's a bunch of Lamborghinis and M3s and uh, the 38750 and an F10 M5 sitting right there. Uh, Kenan's found a GT4. You know, Fisker down there, Benz, a couple Ferraris, no 458s or 488s or anything like that. There's an SLS AMG and an SLS, whatever replaced the SLS AMG. There goes the Bentley. That's an E30 M3. Oh, beautiful DB9 down there. Uh, try to find that here in a bit. What is it? 1980. Uh, that's 78. a 78. 78. Ferrari 308 GTS. You gotta read this. 122,000 miles. That is doing it right. Respect. Yeah. 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 Why did they do boat fenders on it? Yeah, it looks like the 944. Yeah, the box players. Two oh fives in the rear. That's unfortunate. Could piece? Maybe somebody knows what that means. And out here, there's. 
these little yellow yeah yellow dots that like on the it's, high rise. it's insect poop how's it going <laughs> good how are you good is it good to be back oh you have no idea oh i guess you do but yeah nice oh. don't even have to tip for this it's clear yeah So way out there is the Goodyear blimp. Goodyear company native to Akron, Ohio. Here in La Jolla over the La Jolla Cove. Ish. And the Goodyear Bimp is Bimp. The Goodyear Bimp. <laughs> the Goodyear Bimp is very special to your family. We haven't even had a drink yet. Uh, my uh, great grandfather, that's why my family's in Germany, came over to work for Goodyear and designed the doors. Well, I don't know about Goodyear, but came over, to, I think it was Goodyear, Go to design the doors on the hangar that held um, one of them many, many years ago, probably back in the very early 1900s. So here it is in the new home of San Diego. That out there is snow. Look at that. And there's the Goodyear blimp. That's lunch with a view. We can we can do the zoom. It'll still macro a little bit. And if I find the way to do it is macro, stand far back from what you want to get really close in, in on, and then zoom in on it. And that's not really the way to do it, but it works quite swimming. That's how you do it. <laughs> that owl. Have you ever been down to the? Hey, Kevin. We found a Ferrari for you. Yeah, a little bit of dash shrinkage. What year is it? Can we tell? No, but in that color, it's probably, probably uh, 2003, 2002. It has the shields. Are they real shields? Or are they? You can get an 05 or 80 right now. Uh, Neutral. Immobilizer, you got it. Neutral. Unlock it. Yep. He know, he'll figure it out. He's done this many times. He has to unlock and pull both paddles at the same time. It'll go. This may not be his, this may be his first time. Can I tell him? Yeah. He'll appreciate this, maybe. Kenan teaching the valet guy how to start the Ferrari. Is it a new pull, pull both paddles, come on. There he goes. Very nice. Mobilizers. <laughs> Surprised the alarm didn't go off. They <laughs> slammed the door, holy crap. They're heavy. On those light hinges too? Yeah, yeah, I know, but you don't want to slam the door. Do they, like, do they teach their valets how to drive these things? No. no. Why would you? You gotta feel that shifter. That's intense. That makes the 545i and the Evo 3 in good shape feel sloppy. What do you want to bet? He's uh, well, barely at that. 20 miles an hour. That is well done. I it's a, it's a she, yeah. She's on the way to the beauty parlor. She's been looking for it since 9.05 a.m. <laughs> it is 8 p.m. She's the, almost there. The home has an APB out for granted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, got to wrap up Saturday. Today was a freaking blast. We got up early, headed over to Carlsbad Cars and Coffee for about two hours, saw some cool stuff, then headed over to Rancho Santa Fe from 9 to 11 and caught that. That's that's a better show to me. That's like, 
I mean, Pebble Beach is Pebble Beach, but the cars that show up at Rancho Santa Fe, to me, are cooler than what you're going to find at Pebble Beach. I know more about them. They're actual, real, driving, drivable, used vehicles. So that was awesome. Came back here, put some shorts on, re-geared, headed down to La Jolla, spent most of the afternoon there, had lunch at Duke's outside, uh, walked around La Jolla for a while, then checked out O'Gara Coach, previously Symbolic Motors, really just a Bentley and Rolls-Royce dealer now. They had a Veyron in there. Um, otherwise, nothing too out of the ordinary, at least for them. Um, came back here and finally started to catch up on the vlogs a little bit. I think I got about three up. Um, I'm not going to be able to get today's up until tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday or sometime in the new, here in the near future because um, my dad's asleep and his Mac's up there and I can't get the rest of these clips off of it. But I'm largely caught up at this point. Um, just a great day today, though. It was amazing weather. And um, also met up with a guy who watches E39 Source, lives around here. He's got a uh, 2004 M3, 28,000 miles, black, mint condition, freaking beautiful. It was an SMG2 car. Um, swapped it to the six-speed manual. Just awesome, awesome car. Great guy. Uh, so talked to him for several hours and then headed over to Del Mar, back to En Fuego for dinner tonight. Came back here, did some more editing. And it is now bedtime. We're very tired. We got up at 6 a.m. So going to sleep tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, it's going to be another beautiful day. So we'll try to get over to the coast again, maybe hit the beach and uh, chill here in San Diego. So I'll talk to you guys then. Good night.